Honourable Member for Courtney Alberney. Grant for uh, tabling this motion today. Uh, it's very important. It's very important that we talk about our failure to deliver services to vets. And I say our, I mean as a nation, because everyone has a responsibility to look after our veterans. Um, one thing we're hearing is, you know, Conservatives blaming Liberals for not fulfilling their promises, Liberals pointing to Conservative track records for not delivering to veterans. I mean, we, we all have to agree here today that we haven't done enough. Right now we've got veterans on the steps of Parliament that are suffering, that are falling through the cracks, that are waiting for their claims to be open, Madam Speaker. That's not good enough. These are the people that have put the ultimate sacrifice and their families on behalf of everyday Canadians. Uh, the motion talks about the Prime Minister's promise, and I will bring this up. If I earn the right, this is quote, if I earn the right to serve this country as your Prime Minister, no veteran will be forced to fight their own government for the support and compensation they have earned, end quote. The Prime Minister has not honoured this promise. And maybe the member can talk about Mr. Blazek in Edmonton, talking about a court case that Equitas has uh, launched. It started with the Conservative government. It started there, and there has to be a, an answer from the Conservatives of why it started there and why they tabled this motion today when it was referenced to that. There is some responsibility there. The Honourable Member for Brantford Brant. Well, I thank the Honourable Member for his comments and question. As I referred to in my speech, just to deal with the latter issue that he brought up, we had uh, worked with Equitas to negotiate a settlement and put the lawsuit in abeyance, and that's where the status of that was and at the time of the election campaign. So there, there was, it was in abeyance, and it was in abeyance for the first six months of this government's regime. They decided, consciously decided, this Minister of Justice decided to proceed back into court and not go to the negotiating table with the Equitas people. That's the facts. Those are true facts. No one can dispute that. On the issue of what really matters here today, what really matters are veterans and veterans' uh, families who, through the words of this Prime Minister, have been disrespected. Through his words during a campaign and his words on a town hall, and he should do the honourable thing and apologize to veterans. Yeah. Yeah. Jensen, comments, the honourable member.